All right, so I've built the mouth opening and closing, but I have some problems with it. When I turn off the lower jaw up behind, I lose the this part. So I, I erase too much. So this is where we kind of organize layers. So what do I do? I go back to that layer where that part that I lost is, and I duplicate it, right? And then I'm gonna merge that with my original layer. Now, if you don't want to lose your title and you're trying to combine layers, move the, the layer that you titled above the layer you want to merge it with, and it will keep the title of the layer on top. So you select them. I select multiples with shift and then hold down or hit command E to merge them. Or if you ever forget, you just go to layer, merge layers is command E. Okay, now I think I have my mouth cycle. <coughs> the first one I have is the closed mouth on the head. Then I have the open mouth is a combination of these two. I think I want to play a little bit with this still and intensify the color. Go to color balance, bring a little bit more yellow into it. A little bit more red. And then in the shadows, a little bit more blue. And cyan. Yep, that's looking better. And now I want to call this um, open mouth. It's basically open all the way now. At least as much as I'm going to have it open for this animation. And I'm going to merge it with the one underneath it because I want all those colors and all that variety. Command E. So I have closed mouth, open mouth. Closed mouth, open mouth. Simple as that. I might decide I need to make the closed mouth a little bit clearer by burning it. And I might decide I want some of the teeth from the open mouth, like these, in my closed mouth. So how would I do that? Take this part. Let's see, where did I do it? Yeah, what I'll do, actually I do have those teeth there. So what I'll do, eh, that kind of works but I cover them up for closed mouth. I'm just going to move the closed mouth underneath. Uh, that doesn't quite work. I'm trying to think, how can I get those more defined teeth? I can get them this way. Select the empty space on this layer. Yes. And go to which layer is it? Yeah, it's this one. Okay. And then duplicate. Let's do it this way. <laughs> Basically, I want this top row of teeth. I'm actually improving upon my creature a little bit. So I want that top row of teeth with my closed mouth. There we go, but I want to merge it in. Where did I see? It gets confusing. <laughs> okay.
There we go. There we go. Right, and now I just got to get rid of this stuff. All that was just to add those upper teeth. Kind of works. All right. So I just did a nice demonstration of why getting obsessed with details can waste a lot of time. All right, so the closed mouth, I think I actually want to make it a little bit darker too. The nice thing about separating out these puppet elements is that you can treat them as individual elements, like so. I can burn behind those teeth, help them shine a little bit, like that. I can dodge the teeth themselves. Now, this to me is worth it, so I'm going to put that with the uh, merged with the head, this new upper lip. And E, there we go. Rename the layer, move it down. All right, good. We don't need this anymore. So now I've got my mouth, my mouth assets, whether it's open or whether it's closed. I'm trying to figure out the hinge and all that stuff. Okay, now do I need something in between those two? Well, I probably want to have the mouth quiver a little bit. So I'm going to duplicate the open mouth and I'll have it semi-open. Just like I had the squinting. So how do I do that? I transform it and I'm going to distort it like that. Semi-open mouth. Maybe erase a little bit from here so it transitions. And if I want to make it really, really smooth, I can do that one more time and distort it. And even warp it a little bit because this is organic material and bring it up with those teeth. So I have that. So this will be semi-semi. <laughs> you see, I can tell the transition. So we go from closed mouth to semi-semi, to semi-open, to fully open. So this is my mouth cycle. but it all has to be locked with this head. So let me just mark all of those with a certain color. So this would be like if you have the tail wagging in one and you have the mouth opening in another. These are movement cycles that you're building the assets for. OK, 
Okay. Now, the head has to all work together. And it has to move and tilt uh, up and down. So, what I can do, let's see, this color I want orange. No, this color I want yellow. This color I want orange. So the head is orange. It's a combination of all of these things. So I'm going to take these three, two groups, and that head duplicate asset and make a group of that, which is just the head. And that's my first kind of character asset combined file, which allows me, check this out, it's really cool, which allows me to duplicate it and have all those assets in there. And it allows me to transform it in simple ways, like rotating it. And it will move all of those components, like the eyelids and the mouth, with, with it. All right. So I'm going to save my assets at that point. Now I, I have to address an, another problem. I have my creature. But watch what happens when I move my head and I tilt it down to drink. I don't have any content behind his ears, right? So I need to bring that in. But just like I did for the mouth, I have that. I could find it. I could do, you know, a Google search for a texture like this. I could even clone stamp in there but I actually should have it in my assignment too. In my PSD. So not my flattened one. This is why we keep working files, but all the different components. So before I merged everything, I had a head group, right? I had a torso group, but if I just take the head group off, there we go. I've got that back portion all taken care of. In fact, I don't even need all of it. I just need this layer. Really, I just need this. Now I'm going to use this also when he starts to um, swell. So I'm going to copy this, select all, copy it, move it over on top of the body. Command P. Uh, Command V to paste it in, transform it, flip it horizontal, scale it, and try to match it with how I composited it on my creature, roughly. It's a different angle, slightly different lighting, all that. I'm going to do auto levels on it, auto tone, brighten it up. I can take its opacity down a little bit, warp it, get it just right, tuck it into place. And it looks like I have to erase away part of it here. Okay. Huh. Oh, I see what happened. I actually don't want to erase it away. I just need it where it matters, right back there. 